Hello, my name is Edgar Locktin Jung, and uh, this is my website. I hope you are well. Uh, still, happy Lunar Year. And today, we are going to continue to talk about the period 9. And I believe this is the uh, sixth, sixth uh, video. So, the topic will be is your house or your, your home period 9 compliances? Actually, I got ask a lot of this question like is my home you know, period 9 uh, compliances? If you watch my video, uh, the last five one, we talk about different feng shui system, they have a different period and actually they have a different direction as well. And because most of the consultant, they, uh, I found most of the consultant, they have studied the flying star, the flying star feng shui. So mainly they will ask about the flying star feng shui. So from this uh, video on, on, we are going to discuss a, a little bit about the flying star feng shui. So flying star feng shui, the, the period, the period of the house is based on the building, you know, the based on the building or the, the, you know, the construction time. Uh, more detailly will be more the roof, you know, the roof uh, cover. I think I, I, dis I talked about this in the previous video. So it's the, the roof, when the roof cover, uh, then it, that the period is, uh, is uh, compete. Like, for example, let's say a house a house built in in between 2004 to 2024 uh, February of course you know February the 4th uh, that's uh, February you know start from February normally start February the 4th I, I think I explained this a little bit earlier so if a, a house a house built in this period and you know build a house you have the foundation and then the fame and then the roof so when the roof is up when the roof is up then the the, the house if the roof in up in between this period of time then this house is considered a period eight house okay now because we are in february now so if the house start building uh let's say end of end of 2003, uh, 2023, then next month, they're going to put up the roof. So the house is like, you, you build the foundation, but next month they put up the, the roof, then that will be considered as a period nine house. So because the period eight house and period nine house, they will have a different flying start chart. So let me, uh, explain a little bit about this concept so when someone say oh is my house period 9 compliances a house period 9 compliances doesn't mean it has to be built in period 9 they actually looking for the in the flying start when you construct a chart they are so called water star water star 9 or mountain star nine. So in, in the fine star theory, meaning like if you got a, if let's say you have a water star nine in a, in a good area, like mean, mean the front door, then that will be water is wealth. So the, the wealth will be better. And if the, the mountain star nine at the back of the house, then they are like, people more healthier and more uh, f uh, fatality of, of, of the, the lady of the house or more easy to give birth. So actually regard, regardless, regardless which period you build the house, they are start from one to nine. So if you are able to utilize the nine, the, the water star nine, the mountain star nine, then it will be very good for the house. For example, let's say look at a period period eight house. Uh, period eight house in in uh, in general we put the you know the number eight into the center. So eight nine 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that's the period house. Then if you if we're looking at the period nine house, we put a nine into the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. So in the same idea, when they come to period one, then we put the one in into the center. So, uh, for example, to, to in order to determine how the star flying, they flying backward or flying forward, it actually we need the direction. We need a direction of the house. For example, let's look at another period at house. Let, I will show you two different chart here. So another house also built in period eight. So let's say this house is facing Wu, Wu, or the horse, horse direction, and this house is facing the Bing. B I N G Bing and sitting on the Ren. So this one will be sitting on the Zi or Red. So the 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 the, the chart is showing the fly out the start will be totally different. Uh, the Let's say look at the, the water star. So we for it's facing, facing, so we bring the water star in, bring the water star in. So in in the Wu facing, this three, this three uh, is a yin one, a yin one. And uh, I it's uh, very it has need a bit more time to explain but I will do it in the next video so three and then you because it's that yin so you backward so uh, two one nine eight seven six five and four so you going backward but in this facing direction it going forward so you uh, three and then four five six seven eight nine one and two so you see the the star distribution is different even they build in the same period of the time different facing one is facing bing and one is facing wu the they come out the chart is different so as i mentioned earlier regardless which period of the house you build, there's still a start nine there. There's a nine there. So in, in the facing Bing one, we got a nine in the southwest, and in, in the facing Wu one, we got a nine or Wu the horse, we got a nine in the northeast. So now how so this is the period nine, period nine star. This one is is the water star. So if you want to tap into this star you you can you know open the door here or if you is facing wu sitting the zi then you can open the back door here so the door for the qi to come in and because it's the water star you need more qi to come in uh, however there is also one thing you have to remember is not you know not all the uh, not all all these section you you don't open that that, that door for 45 degrees so there's a limitation on the on, on this uh, application as well so maybe I will, will tell you a little bit more on the uh, next video and uh, I will discuss I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more or actually, I, I think I, I have, you know, in the Feng Shui 101 there, there's uh, a few video talk about how to construct a flying star chart. You can also look at that as well. So um, thank you for watching. If you feel this is an a informative video, please give me a like. You can share, comment, and uh, of course, you know, subscribe to the video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.